Now, once you've downloaded, you need to get probably the synth content. And to get that's pretty simple. You just want to go to your uh, MPC synth content manager. You'd come here, you'd pull this application up. I'm on a uh, MacBook Pro. And so you'll see here the Mini D right here. I just downloaded that before, but this is for standalone. So let's go up here. I'm on a computer, so I want to make sure it's on my computer. I got a Mini D here. It's installed. I installed it. Then I have computer and I have standalone. So it's an installation for both. I installed on my computer. It's installed. I have it installed on my standalone at all. I'll do that sometime in the future. But I want to make sure that I'm ready to go. So next, we're going to come to here. And you'll see it here. Here I have drums, right? And I have this thing going on right here. And this is my flavor. As a matter of fact, let me go to the other page. Here we go. And now this is the mixer I'm on. I, I like doing PC because I are first my Mac because it just makes it easier for me to actually get around stuff. I am a recording engineer, so I know how to work all the software as I have to because I have clients that want me to do stuff for them. And then it's just my nature since the beginning of time of being an engineer. You must know everything. It's part of being an engineer. So here, you'll see here, we've got Flavor Pro. So I open it up. It's a plug-in here on the track. going on lo-fi lo-fi is here to stay okay let's go back to the original track space here we go let's turn this down here i can get rid of this and so we have a baseline somewhere in here right so i heard a baseline and where's this baseline at let's see let's go to here and play this that's it that's it the baseline right so i got a baseline right here and it's an actual bass sound, and it's one note made into a key group, as we can see right there. Now, suppose I wanted to come to here and use the plugin. So I'm gonna go to Mini D. I wanna look for a bass here and check some of these basses out, right? Let's put a bass up. Any bass we can find could be good. Let me see, is it bass drones? So much stuff here. Well, we're gonna try a sub bass. Let's start from here. this that sounds terrible let's go to sub join again let's go with this one seven okay that's another one so this is our mini d and you probably want to check out which bases sound good because i have no idea to flip through all these bases but it's kind of cool to have it. Now, I'm really not really going to be buying any of this stuff, probably, because I have so much other stuff I've got over the years. And But I see what they're doing, though, and it's smart. Mm. What they're doing, they're trying to get a warmer sound going on here. Lo-fi here, lo-fi there. They're trying to make it warmer. So check it out. See if you like it. That's how it loads into your computer system. I'm going to do some more experiments and see what I like too.